Hey Lewis. Simon, welcome back to Thank Peculiar you. Portions. And welcome back, viewers slash listeners. Mm. Thank you for uh, allowing us to... Enter your ears and your eyes. And, mm. and um, mess around in there. Just mess around in your brain like a, like a whisk. Whisk it up some blancmange. Oh, just what a treat! Just messing up your head, messing up your ideas and your brain and your thoughts. Yeah, and your brain waves. Yeah, getting all in there like an alien. It's gonna mess with your mind, That's man. That's right. We're about to spin everything out of control. Your mind is gonna be blown, unblown, mixed up, and re- fucked. Re- <laughs> re- reassembled. In moulded, frozen, <laughs> and shaped into a little statue of a hula doll, and left on a shelf, oh. where it one day will be knocked off of the shelf, Broken. scraped up, put in the bin, mm. taken to a bin site, dumped, and end up on a beach in India. That'll be a nice end for you. Uh, what is in the news today? Wow, Simon. Um, today, um. I know that you're a fan of uh, Yankee Candles and other How associated do you know this? brands. I'm not a fan. You love the scented candle. I hate the scented candle. Every time you have a Barthes, <laughs> you know, you just light a couple of scented candles. I'm the opposite. It makes me like wheezy <laughs> every time I get one of those stinky ass things. I don't... You love the lavender, lavender midnight. You love that one. Yes, an orchid blossom. Yes. That's one of my favourites. And uh, a pumpkin spice. Ooh. Pumpkin spice candle. I love a turmeric, <sighs> avocado, Ooh. smoothie candle. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that's what all of the hipsters. Scented candles. They've been popular for a long time. Well, they say you should, you know, you should watch what you eat. You should also watch what you smell, which you can do with a candle. That's very true, yes. Anyway, uh, this story. <laughs> this story. It's a new one. I've noticed yeah. the date is this year, which is unusual for peculiar portions. The news is. Well, not news, is it? I mean, it's. The big breaking news. But it's not old. Da, 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 da. It's, it's news in that it's, it's relatively recent, but it's hardly news. None of the things we report breaking here. Breaking news. Are... Alert. <laughs> very important news. Listen to me, I am the news. You need to know this, it's important. I have news, and it's for yous. I'm listening. Tell me the news, please. Ikea are doing a, a, a giveaway, a little competition, where you can win a scented... Ikea. Ikea, yes. The Swedish furniture, furniture manu- shoppy. factura and, mm-hmm. and seller of... Of shit furniture. Yes. Where you can get a bully, a billy, a billy bookcase. Get a, a smegma table. <laughs> uh, a cummy rug. Yes. If you want. Yeah. If you want. If you want. They're mm. all available. Yes. Yeah. Or, yes. Uh... Very slippery, the cummy rug. <laughs> you want to be careful. <laughs> so they're doing competition at Ikea with scented candles that smell of their famous meatballs. <laughs> what, what did you say? <laughs> it smells of their, fe- their famous meatballs. Wow. I mean, why? Or, or meatballs, <laughs> if you will. I'll put those in my jelly wardrobe. What's a jelly wardrobe? I don't know, I don't know. A wardrobe made... I'm just being silly. I'm being silly. You are being very silly. It wasn't Take rude. Take this seriously. It was very silly. Uh, so, of course, Ikea meatballs famous. Yeah. Very uh, cheap. People in Ikea food. go to them to have meatballs in the same way that people go to Bunnings for a snack. That's true, yes. Um, yes. When we went to a Bunnings in Australia, there was a little barbecue outside and a little queue of people for, for snacks. Little and sausagey hot dogs. Sausages that look like dog turds. That's right. Yes. And in the same way these meatballs look like they some look, other sort of turd. They look and also smell like when I feed the cats on a very warm day and they eat the food too quick and then end up puking it up again. 
Yeah, that's right. kind of what the the IKEA meatball, meatball smells resembles. Like. Well, some people that smell to them though. It's the smell of home. It's the smell, smell of my home. It's yes. the smell of joy. All the cat sick. It's cozy. Yeah. In the same way that we as Hugo. Brits, we enjoy and Australia too. Hugo. Shout out to my Hugo. Uh, other l- friends across the Hugo. other side of the world That's down cozy there in um, IKEA. Yeah, Hugo. H- Hugo. H- well, Hugo. It's a whole anyway. That's a whole thing. Yes. But we like baked beans and, and marmite. You know, whereas yeah. the Australians would shit themselves. I'm like, oh, sorry, the Americans. Yeah, whereas the, the Americans got Vegemite. Would, They're down with it. Americans hate hate that stuff. The other thing is, um, Greg's. Have you tried the Greg's beans and cheese? vegan um, steak bake thing. It's no. awful. Yeah. Vegan I mean, cheese England. is usually dog shit. It's usually absolutely terrible. It's okay sometimes. They make it with like coconut oil. It's nice. It's not, it's not Ikea meatballs. That's true. It's a very high standard. But it's, you know, it's fine. Do you think you would buy a baked bean scented candle is my question. Oh. Is this just the first in a line of home smells? Smells that make you go, hmm, that smells like, smells like my home. It's I, warm, it's comforting. I don't know if I want baked you know, I, I would. I would quite like. Imagine the expatriates living in America who can't get baked beans. They can't get snacks, Marmite. They can't have a Marmite. Oh my God, Marmite scented candles. Yeah. Genius. Why isn't that a thing? It may already be. It may probably, already be. I bet if we Google it, there's probably like people making yeah. their own out of Marmite. Yeah, I reckon it could probably just stick already. a wick in a jar of Marmite, light it, and the thing would probably be fine. Oh, God. That's disgusting. They're probably basically a candle already. But when it comes to like scented candles, I mean, I think like a really comforting smell is like the smell of like like a, a fire, like a wood fire. Yes. And I think that's just that's just the that's smell of something smell of burning. a candle. So that's just the smell of like an unscented candle would kind of be that. So like the OG like, candle was just a fire. Yeah. I see where you're going. However, it's more of a sustained I like that though. Mm. What about a candle smelling candle? A candle that smells like a candle. That's the same thing, though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. How about burnt toast? Or like, like... Oh, that make you think you're having a stroke or an aneurysm, though. <laughs> oh, my God, I can smell burnt toast. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah. like as my a, face okay? Like as a prank. That's not... That was, that's an awful prank. <laughs> what? You could light a little burnt toast candle in someone's that's house. That's like gaslighting. Just trying to make people think that they're like... Ew, or something. Gaslight is different. That's what they use after fuck- the candle. I'll put some fucking LSD in their tea as well. So they think they've gone schizophrenic. La 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 la. People love pranks. What's the deal with this candle? So there's a sweepstakes or the event. Meatball candle. You have to be a loyalty club member. It's for their the ten years of their loyalty pr- program existing. Um, almost two thousand lucky winners will get one. Huvidrol meatball candle. Mmm. And let the sweet smell of meatballs waft through their homes. <sighs> well, it, I don't think it's that bad. It's like it's like the smell of cooking, right? It's yeah. not the worst to go to someone's house when they've just cooked. That's true. Oh my god, what about like baked bread candles and things like that? Yeah, that sounds like a real Mm. one. Well, because obviously certain stores, like, pump in smells anyway, right? Yeah. Like, coffee shops pump in, like, coffee smells, and Subway pump in, like, a bready smell, don't they? Coffee shops pump in coffee smells? Well, uh, the thing is, you open a jar of coffee, yeah, and it's got the coffee smell in there. That's all added. Right. Wait, what? Yeah, they add like a special Are coffee smell. Are you sure about I watched a video about oh it. Oh my God. Because yeah. they do this with like new cars, don't they? They have a new car scent and it's literally a little spray. Oh my God. To make God. it smell like a new car. Oh my fucking God. Is anything real? When it comes to smell? What do you mean? Is anything real? What do you, when you say is anything real if I smell, and you leave that hanging... I'm like, if I go somewhere and I smell something, is that a real smell or is it just a spray, like a gas that's like, 
evacuated from somewhere. But is it so bad if it is the smell of the thing? It just enhances it. Do you know what I mean? Okay, it's, like, it's not like you're going to a coffee shop and they're spraying in, I don't know, the smell of ants. What do ants smell like? Well, like the, the, ants the, pheromones. They're spraying the, ant pheromones. A, the place is crawling with ants all breeding. Particularly bad example. <laughs> like, wasn't even. Really, I don't know where that came from, but the smell of something wrong. Do you know what I mean? Right. Or like, I don't know. So something weird, like, what if it just smells like oranges in a coffee shop? Like, it, that's a nice smell, but you'd go... Can I have an orange? And they were like, sorry, we don't sell oranges, oranges here. here, this is a coffee shop. You just, I would assume it was like cleaning products. Like, they just clean the place. And right. that's why it smells citrusy. Right, but sometimes that might work, you know. Oh my god, then you never have to clean anyway. you just got to spray, like, a lemon scent or something. And people would be like, oh... This is a lovely and clean place, and the place is just a shithole. Well, that's deodorant, isn't it? Oh my god. Yeah, that's why you don't have to shower. All you have to do is use deodorant, and you fool people into thinking you're clean. Yeah, well, honestly, like... Life hack. <laughs> it's not... It's pretty... Everyone knows it. It's, you know... It's... What? No, because they smelled in deodorant, and they're like, ooh. Yeah. Someone's clean today, aren't they? But but secretly they're really sweaty under it, yeah. and that's all the good. Yeah. That's all the pheromones that get them all oh. excited. And this is in the coffee shop. Um, None of the staff bathe. So the coffee shop's full of ants. Yeah, they're spraying in. We made a terrible mistake. There's ants everywhere. But people are still coming in because they need their. Starbucks or whatever the fuck coffee it is. They mm. they can't not go in. I need my I need my kickstart. Exactly. Uh, oh, don't talk to me till I've had my coffee. Uh. <laughs> As they go up to the bar, the bar, the, bar? The, the barista is like, what can I get for you today? Uh, don't talk to me till I've had my coffee. <laughs> Very funny. What can I get you? I say, don't talk to me! <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, because they, because they order it on the app now. No one talks oh, yeah, to anyone. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's all right because all the baristas are protected behind big clear glass screens. So yeah, to protect them. Yeah, you know, so no customers can get close. And also that allows the customer not to smell, have the mix of smell mm. of the deodorant plus unwashed Do you think they barista. should, if they want a place to look a little bit sort of like fresher, a bit more hip, what they should do is they should add one of those uh, like tints on on that plastic window so that they can see out but we can't see in it's like they pulled up in a car wow yeah and also they've got the music blaring behind them as well like what like a like a millionaire pulled up in yeah, a yeah in like a limo tinted, back of a limo yeah and they wind it down bleh, and you by. come down like place your order yeah does does he wheel it down well, I guess you don't wheel don't it down wheel anymore. It down. You push a button. If a man to wheel Show it down age. for you. Yeah. Wheel it back up. Yes, sir. Wheel <laughs> <laughs> back up. And you order your mochaccino latte frappa, frappa banana chino yeah. with extra froth. And the thing is, you ordered a banana flavoured coffee. It's a normal coffee. And then they get the banana spray and they just go... Ch -ch -ch. That is it, yeah. Gotcha. We've saved 10 pence by not adding a little bit of banana syrup in it. <laughs> well, that 10 pence over the course of millions of customers gives the CEO of Starbucks an extra yacht yeah. every two years That's or true. whatever. Do you know what I mean? It's, it adds up That's for true. him. Not for the minimum wage workers. No, or no. the consumer. No. No, it adds up for him. The c <laughs> Might want to cut that. Sorry. <laughs> so anyway, plant-based meatballs. Yeah, that's the next thing. Oh, the next thing. How? It looks and tastes like meat, but it's made from plant-based alternative proteins. Can you smell the difference? Meat, meat spray. It is that. They don't even need to do that. Because it famously comes in like a creamy sauce. You just get the, one of the fucking candles, just drip the wax over it. Yeah. Bingo. There you go. The wax could double as the creamy texture. And the, the scent slash flavour of meatballs. Do the candles taste of meatballs as well? I feel like we are only... Um, you shouldn't eat candles. Only a only matter of candles. time away from 
replacing the, the uh, dystopian ideal of, you know, just generic paste that is like flavored. Like gruel, like they, they ate in the matrix. You start with like yeah, white paste and you mix in like two drips of meatball flavoring mm. and it like turns it into delicious meatball paste. Oh, you mean Huel? <laughs> what do you say? Yeah, yeah, okay, good point. But now I wonder what like the the base layer is. Is it like quinoa or something or cheaper than that? What's the cheapest base layer? It's people, Lewis. Oh it's my people that god, got lost Me- in Ikea. Ikea meatballs are going around the fucking labyrinthine network. Lost Ikea customers. Yeah. Well, they they don't get lost as much as trapped. They get lost. Yeah, that's right. And then ground up into a paste. I've been pooping in a fake toilet for weeks! <laughs> what? I'm just thinking about... These? Well, the toilets aren't plumbed in, are they, in Ikea? The oh my god, toilets. that's true! That's true! I'm just thinking they're gonna... Someone who's lost in Ikea. Yeah, they're... they're... Oh my god. I was trying to th- I was thinking, how does that relate to people being minced down <laughs> into a paste? <laughs> I've been pooping into a fake toilet for weeks! <laughs> Well, you know, they got to fatten them up somehow before mincing them down. Does that work? Does that they, make yeah, sense? they feed them meatballs. <laughs> right, it's like a cycle. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, hmm. Mm. Be quicker just to mince them. I don't think they need fattening up. Do they? I don't know. It's your fucking it's idea min- to fatten them up. Well, I don't and know. And now you're saying, actually, that's a dumb idea, Simon. <laughs> don't need to fatten <laughs> them up. Let's not fatten them up. Just mince them. Sorry, so, okay, no, back to where we were before. What is the most blandest, cheapest, most basic shit that corporations can buy and flavor and sell to us as idiots to consume to give them more money? So it's like readily available lab-grown proteins. So like you know, mycoprotein is one that's used a lot. It must be something. It's just a, like mold, essentially. They grow a, a mold and they skim it off every so often and that's that's where you know corn protein comes from that sounds like the awful that sounds awful i mean it does sound awful you have like but these also huge, like when you rusty think about warehouses where full animal of mold meat. when you think where you animal s- meat comes that, from that's exactly. worse i know there's a living breathing creature like dav here is you know oh, hello lewis and then you're like i want a fucking i want a hot dog Clever. For dinner. And then, and, and then that's it. Well, no, that's not it, is it? First, you have to keep him in a tiny cage. Oh, God. For, like, weeks on end. Don't, I, don't listen to this, Daph. And then other stuff happens, which you can watch documentaries about it. Do your best. But I still feel like warehouses full of mould are pretty... That's pretty bad. That sounds yeah. pretty bad. There's you a know? lot of, like... I mean, where's all the pea protein coming from? Like, do peas grow really, really quickly? Yeah, I'd like it to be green instead of brown. Well, I don't think pea protein is necessarily green. What do you... What That's pea? just, like, the, 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 the chlorophyll in, in the pea, isn't it? So, as soon as you break it down, you get rid of all the, the shit in it that you don't want, all the starches and stuff. I don't mind. You're just left with the pure protein, and it's just like a white fucking powder. It could be anything. That's fine. Or like a slightly off-white powder, usually. I'm it still horrible. fine with off-white. I just don't want it to be brown. You want a beige, a beige powder. Light, not beige. That you add water to. Off-white. No, you can't go from white to off-white to... The beige is a... There's a scale. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I'm cool with green. It's going to end up shit light brown. Light green. Very, very soon. White. I'm okay with, like, off-white. What beige about, is pushing it. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Like a mushroom colour. You know, that brown. Mushroom brown. Mushroom brown. The kind of... Yeah, the kind of colour you might paint your lounge in the 80s. What about a caramel? A caramel. Mm-hmm. Too brown. Mm. I think caramel's too brown. Caramel. Caramel. Yellowy brown, isn't it? Yeah, it's a kind of pissy poo brown. Oh. A blend of pissy and poo, pooey. Oh my god. Together. In the IKEA unplumbed in toilet. Caramel. How often do you think they got to clean out? 
I think every day. Every day. I think probably. every day someone's like a kid does it. Taking they don't understand. Well, they're lost. They're lost. They're not getting out. They're desperate. They don't know how long it's going to be until they get round the rest of the circuit of IKEA. I think there's like an SCP about this, about people being There is, there's an to... infinite IKEA SCP, yeah. you're right. It's a good idea. There's like tribes of people. Yeah. Lost. It could be us one day, Lewis. We can dream. You've got to think about what would happen if that was you as well. You know, scoffing down those plant-based meatballs. The candles, just eat. that's all I got is the candles. I managed to find out where they keep keeping the meatball scented candles. I'm just slicing it into like, you know, like it's cheese. Well, they say that taste, that smell is a big part of taste. Mm. So if you lit like a candle and you were sniffing away at a meatball candle yeah. while you were Don't eating do something, any of this, something else. By the way. Yeah. Oh, it's like the, the tip of... Um, if you don't have money to go to like, you know, get a curry or something, just get like the cheapest loaf of bread you can and then stuff, you know, a bunch of bread in your mouth and then go around and sniff other people's meals. Just run and <laughs> sniff other people's meals and then run out again. Right. Yeah. And then it's like you're eating the curry. That was way weirder than I thought it was going to be. I thought mm. it was going to be like sniff like a blend of herbs and spices or, or it was no. going to be something... You're sniffing other people's dinners. Right. You're just waiting. That's like pretty weird. Until they get served. And then you just run in through the door. <laughs> eating the bread. And you're chewing on the... <laughs> Where did you read this life hack? It's mental. It was Peter Bainham that did this in a sketch. Was it Fist of Fun? I think it was a Fist of Fun skit back in the day. That's a lot of fun. Yeah. A whole fistful, I would say. A lot of fun. A fun idea. Should we move on? What a weird, well, this is weird today, isn't it? It's gone a bit weird. We're weird. We've been talking a bit about food, haven't we? We've been talking a bit about food. Yeah. And one of my favourite... Well. Remember how improv works. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes and. Yes and. <laughs> Don't disagree. Because then that kills it. Whatever. That kills where it's well, going. No, but the food. Immediately. We haven't been talking about food. We're talking about fucking candles. Mixing up people. This is and no, meatballs. We, fake food. The candles smell of meatballs. We're talking about meatballs. Oh, we we're talking about really. fake meatballs. We're talking about proteins. All oh, right, sorry. We were talking about food. Okay. Well, I mean, I don't really consider any of that food. It's not food, is it? It's just processed. What is food? No what is, nonsense. What is it's food? Nothing. A leaf. Not no. a berry. <laughs> <laughs> Let's carry on, <laughs> for goodness sakes. Okay. I bet this would smell nice. So we've been talking about food, Lewis. A semi... Shut your whore mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, tell me what's happened, Simon. What am I... Look, I'm getting there, right? I'm, I'm working up to it, right? I'm trying to do... I'm tr I, first of all, I tried to do a segue, and then you killed that. Well, try and, again. I'll do it this time. Okay, all right. Okay, now remember, yes, Sam. <laughs> Right. I mean, this is not improv okay. class. This is all improv. No, We're it's not, not reading from a script. We're making this shit up. Well, yeah, but I mean, it's just bonkers nonsense. I okay. can do what I want. Oh, oh, you're a fucking rebel now, are you? <laughs> now, now you've grown the ball. I've been kicked out of five years. improv classes. After 13 years, <laughs> you finally have the balls to stand up to me. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. So we've been talking about food. We have, yes. Uh, one of my favourite foods, Lewis, is a jacket potato. Yes, and I, me too. Oh, I, I love a potato got with a jacket on it. What about you? <laughs> I also Perfect. love other potato-based products. Oh, you're going too far. You're going too far, okay? Oh, let's stick baked, to jacket potatoes. potatoes. Sorry, no, we'll, Okay. Yes. And we were also talking about scented candles, and I imagine this would smell very nice as well. See, I stole that. You said that you stole that, uh, yes, I imagine it would. Um, a semi truck hauling yeah. potatoes has caught fire on the I 285 
in Lakewood. 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 The most American sounding place. Don't know where that is. America. Lakewood. Could be anywhere. Um, but yeah, um, so it, it, it caught fire. All the potatoes baked. And, um, well, no, they burnt. They, they're all just completely destroyed. Yeah, oh, well, they've um, left in too long, probably. If someone had been there, you know, take... Are, are stick they, a fork in, just to check. Are they flammable? Are potatoes flammable? Yeah, would they burn on their own? Would they yeah, fuel themselves as oh, fuel? Oh, right. I mean, like, I mean, if you leave them in an oven too long, they will burn. Yeah, but... The, well, least... I don't think you can just, like, put a wick in one. <laughs> like, well, they can use them as a battery, can't you? Which is a kind of the same thing, isn't it? Only for electricity instead of light. That probably is a way. If you ran an electric current through one, it would probably catch fire. Does that count as it being flammable? Yeah, I... Well... I don't know. I don't know. Certain th things will be fuel. Well, I'm not yeah. saying we should use potatoes as a source of fuel moving on into the future. Just, not after this. I'm just because wondering clearly if... there, there was something happened. The potatoes bumped against each other too much and they just went off. Oh. Yeah. And like the whole thing like a fire. friction thing. Yeah. Because they were jiggling around yeah. in the heat. Is that what happened? I mean... A potato spark. I guess. I guess so. It's not I like... I mean, maybe it says in the article, but, <laughs> we, but we, I mean, well, it sounds We could plausible. just, as we normally do, read the first sentence and speculate wildly, and then have the article tell us nothing. Look at this, the tweet, the embedded tweet, the text is, like, massive and, and orange for some reason. Yeah, we don't know why this is, but... It kind of looks like the... Is this... Oh, this is the fire department. It's West Metro, of course, another very American-sounding place for a city that we've never heard of. Probably. They are shouting as well. Oh, shall I do it? Yeah, you do it okay. in the cop voice. It's not cop. It's a fi it's a fire fireman. Well, fireman. What's the difference in uh, the voice? I mean, not. Oh, <sighs> almost said something <laughs> bad there, Lewis. <laughs> almost said something bad. I saved you. I saved you. <laughs> okay, so the fire fireman said on social media, "Our crew torched a semi truck on highway. Our crew torched. Our it crew. sounds like they set it on fire." Our crew torched a semi-truck on Highway 285 near Sims tonight. When the driver saw the smoke get overturned, then the truck caught fire. No casualties, but the vehicle is a total loss. A fuel tank broke and our hazmat team controlled the spill. Potatoes were loaded in the truck. Our crew torched. When the driver saw the smoke, it overturned. None of this makes sense. Our crew torched. This is gibberish. Near Sims... Does torched mean something different in American? Because in the UK, that means you set fire to something. If you torch something... Are they admitting to arson here? I mean... Our oh, lads are out on the town tonight and we torched a truckload of fucking potatoes! This happened on the same day! Oh my god. Has the Ikea candle thing? I think we're through the looking glass here. Coincidence? We have, like, shattered the illusion of reality and we've broken through to the other side. We've shat on it as well. We've uncovered the real truth. Ikea is behind the potato fire. Is that to stop Big Potato oh, from weighing Think about in? it, Lewis. Fucking think about it. If you eat lots of baked potatoes... You're not going to want any meatballs. There's no room. And then why go to Ikea? All they have is shit furniture. And, you know, uh, you've already got tons of that falling over, crushing your kids. Also, you've got to be careful, because if you eat too many baked potatoes, you know, and then you get in your car, you may want to be sick, and then you'll have to get out of the car, not put the handbrake on, and then get run over by your own car, which is what happened to that guy from E17. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Harvey, wasn't it? No, was it was another one. Was it the other one? Yeah. I think it was Brian Harvey. Was it? Maybe it was. Was it? Ran over was himself. It Tom? He ran over himself. It was a very sad time. It's not funny. It's not funny. I'm not laughing about it, Lewis. How do you think his family feel about him being run over by his own car? They're probably like, Brian, 
Should have only had two jacket potatoes, not three. Oh, exactly. It's a jacket. What you can draw is a direct line here between jacket potatoes mm. and idiocy. Are you saying that potatoes make people stupid? Oh, there's a correlation. The more potatoes, you I'm just eat, following the science. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, that's just. It's like a triggering phrase. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh my god um, Many people on social media Cracked jokes About this I know It's And it even names one of them Donna Faris Bellamy Bellamy Donna Faris Bellamy On Facebook said Fire plus potatoes Equals baked potatoes Anyone have butter and sour cream? Mm. Sour cream. You don't need butter and sour cream, do you? That's, that's, she must be American. Mm. She must be. Did, is this now standard? They just, just people on Facebook will say stuff like that, and they'll put it in articles. Oh yeah, God yeah, yeah. Just love unrelated it. idiots commenting on stuff. West Metro Fire. Let's find out where it is. Lakewood. Lakewood. Colorado. Oh. <clears throat> Okay. Well, there are lakes and woods there. There it is. Look. Is that the potato fire? This is the potato fire. Is we it? We've got a fire engine. We've got shit. a fire. We've got a cab that's being put out. And, you know, guys spraying it with a hose. It's a nice looking cab on the thing. Um, okay, let's, let's look at... Should we see the replies? Well, that's a hot potato! Baked potatoes, anyone? I was wondering why I smelt baked potatoes. And it wasn't the candle. They all sat and ate baked potatoes after. Thank all for no injuries. Is that true? I'm sure the crew was fried after that one. <laughs> well, uh. Wow, look, like four retweets on this. Four retweets. It's big news. It's big news. Everyone's been talking about it. Well, Well, clearly that's not the case. <laughs> so clearly that's not the case. The the, the numbers no, don't hold numbers, up no. at all with that. Is this just a, a marketing opportunity? You know, because nowadays everyone you know has their own viral success. Mm. Should the West Metro Fire Department be bringing out a potato scent, baked potato scented candle? Yeah. To capitalise on this new or, and growing or audience. We can combine social media and baked potatoes and create a baked potato version of Facebook. How does that work? Billion dollar idea. Well no before we Billion <laughs> Dollar idea. So just run run me by how it Billion works. dollars, please. Okay. <laughs> Billion dollars. Well, sure. I'll give you the billion. Here's a look. I've just got, happened to have it lying around. Here's a billion dollars. Thank you. There you go. Set it up. Okay. What? No, 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 Well, you need to... No, I, I'm the idea guy. I'm not the tech guy. Well, just spin me Do an I idea. Do I look like a nerd? Just spin me an idea about baked potato Facebook. Okay, so... As you know, Facebook, all people ever do on there is post uh, things they're eating and really dodgy political shit as well. Right. What if we just take away the negativity of the politics and all we're left with is meals? But on Potato Book. Right. Is this a physical platform? Or Baked without the E will be the name of the app. Baked Book. Baked Book. Right. You just upload pictures of the potatoes that you, you you enjoy. Could it be that most people on Facebook already resemble some potato in some way? They have like a round, pale face. I think what we should do is we should incorporate that into people's avatars on on our Baked platform, on Bakebook. Everyone and has a potato-based... Yeah, everyone's got a potato because potatoes have got eyes. What you could add is like a kind of, uh, we could have a brand sponsorship with Mr. Potato Head. Yeah. Hold on. 
And you could build walkers. like a little me for your uh, walkers. Yeah. Well, that would get people exercising. It's all about that now. Yeah. As well, you know, because that's famously. Or lays, if you're American. Right. Different. Very, very different. Ours is active. Theirs is more lying down. Sedentary. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I wonder whether, like, you know, you could assemble your profile picture like a me from the Mr. Potato Head parts. Oh my God, that's such a good idea. And that is you... a billion dollar idea, Lewis. And luckily I've got this billion dollars that you gave me earlier right <laughs> back, back at you. Thank you. Well, I... Now we're square. <laughs> Neither of us are billionaires. No, no, no. We're clearly not square. We're round, like a potato. Indeed. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, we've got to stick to our branding. We can't say the S word. Spud. No. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it's going to be very difficult. Oh, I had a cracking spot today. And Bam. then they just get banned. Yeah. They're gone. No, spud is fine. That's like the okay. cute, that's a cute word. That's good. We want that. We need to have like a range of emojis. They're all potatoes. Yeah. Yeah. And like the thumbs up. Is a potato. Is a. Chips. Is a. Chi- is a it's chips. It's a packet of chips. It's chips. With a big chip on one yeah. side. This is such a good idea. Because people love potatoes. Well. We need to find a way to really monetize it, though. Because that's where... Yeah. Well, we need to sell our data to the big potato. Yeah, we've got to sell our users' data. So they know... But unfortunately, all the data is going to be about potatoes. And I think that might be... Well, this is why I'm thinking it has to go to the only client possibly could be big potato. Who is big potato? The fucking faceless corporation that runs potatoes. Is the big potato King Edward? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you genius. Holy shit. Yvonne, you better be careful saying that kind of stuff. You know, you're going to be, you're going to be mashed. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Boy. <laughs> <laughs> 420 boys! Uh. Da ba da ba da! <laughs> 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 <laughs>